Hey y'all. Happy Wednesday and welcome to this week's vlog. Y'all, I am so tired. Um, as you can see, I'm in the car. It's like 11, 15 a.m. And I'm about to head to the store. I need to grab like paper towels, booty wipes. Well, hopefully I don't look as crusty as I feel. But yeah, I figured I would start the vlog here because why not? And I really don't have much planned at all today or really for the rest of the week. So I'm not sure what I'm going to be vlogging, but we'll see. Regardless, I hope that this video finds you well and that if you're feeling crappy like me today, just do something that makes you feel good, okay? All right. Something that's really confusing to me is when it's not even raining no more. Is when I'm in line and or like I'm at the checkout at the register, right? And then someone is like standing like literally like right behind me. Like this ain't even got nothing to do with COVID. I mean it does, but it doesn't. This is just always annoyed the crap out of me. Like, why are you so close to me? I never understood that like am I a magnet because I'm confused why are you literally standing like this right here you like right here I'm at the register why are you I literally turned around to this lady I was like why are you so close I'm not trying to be rude but that is that in itself is fucking rude to me like that has always been a pet peeve of mine I'll be like I'll, I keep looking back like why are you so close? And if they don't catch the hint without me saying something, I will actually say something. Like, can you back up a little? Because you is literally all up in my personal space. I don't respect it. You don't respect me and my space. Like, what's wrong with you? On another note, I found this um really, really good salad place yesterday. I have been looking for a salad place around here because if you didn't know, I am pescatarian and so that means I only eat seafood. I don't consume any other meat. And I have been looking for a place that has like seafood salad. I have, um, please go around me. Thank you. Panera Bread, they don't have any seafood. I'm thinking of like salad places that are like to, like quick to go, fast and hurry and I finally found oh and I went to this other spot out here in Dallas called Salada I think it is one time it was like a lunch date and it wasn't impressive I didn't even finish half of it like their shrimp was very bland and it just didn't taste good and so I found this place called Salad and Go I think it's a new place so I went there and grabbed that yesterday and it was so good so I'm ordering another one right now for lunch so they have like a number of like different salad options and then you can like build your own salad and it's very inexpensive that's the other thing like there's a lot of places that have like salads that you can add shrimp to but it'd be like 15 20 dollars by the time you add shrimp and all the fixings and stuff this salad yesterday was eight dollars and then i got like this cucumber melon lemonade oh, so fire and then apparently all of their products and ingredients are organic um, or low, like carefully sourced or whatever. And y'all, their freaking the lemonade, the cucumber melon lemonade for 24 ounces was a dollar. I'm gonna show y'all, but it was so good. I almost cried how good it was yesterday. Hi, I'm picking up an order. Hi, I'm picking up an order. Yes, oh. Okay, thank you. Oh my God, it was a bee like right there trying to get in my window as I'm talking to this woman. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. All right, y'all. We got the goods. 
Look how big this salad is. It's huge, low key. And then this is the cucumber melon lemonade. Hey y'all, happy Friday. Well, I'm out of breath because I just got done working out. I'm so happy I actually got through it today. Yesterday, I tried to work out and like five minutes into my workout, I like felt like I was about to pass out. So there's one thing to push past when you might have a struggle day, but there's another thing when you're about to pass out and you try to keep going. Mm -mm. I was like, nah, not today. <sighs> oh yes, this feels so good. I feel like I've been on the go a lot this whole summer. So yeah, I'm kind of ready for fall season. And I'm actually going to TSU at the end of the month. So for Halloween weekend, my, my baby sister goes to TSU and it's their homecoming weekend. So I'm flying out there for the weekend. I am feeling pretty good about this fall season and the rest of the year. Hey Jade. My building painted um, our balconies black. And like up there is black. And this door is black. And hey, that's me. <laughs> I like it. It looks it looks good. Okay, y'all. So I'm about to do something that I literally haven't done in a month. <laughs> I bought this probably month two of me being here. And it literally has just sat and I have not touched it. Why would I buy it if I'm not gonna use it? There we go. Yep, so we're about to do hookah. I have not done this like in months. But look how cute my hookah is. All right, so we got the shisha in there. told y'all like the rest of my weekend <laughs> which ended up being really fun well Saturday was really fun so y'all know me I be going with the flow did y'all know I have this mirror I'm pretty sure y'all know that my friend put that up for me shout out to him so one of my friends my long-term friends from college um, we went to Truman State University together um, we were like really really close our freshman year and then he's also from chicago so like after we graduated and everything we just always kept in touch and whatever he still lives in chicago i believe pretty sure he does i know he travels a lot um and i'm pretty sure he's on tour he was on tour 
with Leon Bridges, who is a soul singer um, from Atlanta. And so every time he would DJ in Chicago, he would invite me, whether it would be like, um, like a day party or a club or like a private event. And so he was in Dallas this weekend with like Leon Bridges and his crew. And he, Leon Bridges had like a private penthouse party at this hotel downtown Dallas. And so he hit me up and invited me to that, said I could bring a couple friends. So that's what I did on Saturday. It started late though. So it was from 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. And y'all, we had so much fun. Oh man, I want you to club. Cause you put a pop star pipe in the club. Ended up going to that around like midnight on Saturday. So I left the house when it was my bedtime. I didn't do anything Friday night. Like I was in the house. I cooked and watched Netflix and was in the bed by 11 on Friday. So I wanted to pop out. I mean, I didn't, I had so much fun. First of all, I didn't bring my camera because I knew it was a private event. My homegirl Tamika and this other girl I know, Erica, um, end up meeting me out. And Maurice, my friend Maurice, um, the DJ, always a good time seeing him. And I didn't get home until five o'clock in the morning. Well, it was like 4.30. My sleep schedule was completely thrown off. Girl, my legs, I was wearing heels. And I was dropping it like I was 20 on the dance team. You know I like when you run. Literally, I'm talking about my, my thighs are sore from dancing and dropping it and I had a fucking blast. Um, I felt so free and so like me. I come alive in the fall time. I don't know if I've said this on my channel. I'm, I know I've said it on my Instagram and I know I say this to like my friends and family and stuff but like I really do feel like I come alive in the fall time. Now, I am a summer baby. My birthday is in July, as you know. If you don't know, go back and watch my Denver vlog where I celebrated my 32nd birthday. I'll go ahead and link that somewhere. I love my birthday season. Like, I like the summertime, especially around my birthday, obviously. But, like, I really do feel like I come alive in the fall time. And I know that's so cliche. If you're a weekend fan, you already know that line from Starboy. This is my first fall season in Dallas. And y'all, the weather has been so beautiful here. Like, I love it here. Sweatshirt season is upon us. I love it. But I got to meet Leon Bridges and his crew and they're all super cool, super chill, super fun, quirky. I need to do a life update, y'all, because I have some stuff I just need to do a life update. Here go my big foot ass neighbor upstairs. Oh my God. So I think what I'm gonna do is post on Instagram maybe later in the week and do a, a poll and see like, should I do a life update or should I do a q and A? I'm gonna go ahead and close out the vlog here. And yeah, it's Monday by the way. I normally, don't vlog on Mondays, but I figured I would close out the vlog officially because I did not even pick up the camera for the rest of the weekend. So thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you guys in the next vlog. Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any videos that I post. All right, peace out.